What's going on lads? Today I've got a really different video for you where basically I also have a Renault Megane in my life. So I also, obviously I have the Audi, but I also have this which I do drive on the daily um, to get to from and work and back. Um, basically I bought this off Facebook about six months ago um, and it's very much due a service so I thought you guys are on the channel at the minute you know you're obviously car passionate about cars sort of thing so I thought why not I was just gonna service it and I'll do a video on it so I'm not really gonna do a big service I'm probably just gonna change the oil and change the spark plugs um, and then go from there Okay lads, so I've gone ahead, I've got the oh, four spark plugs, I've got the oil down there, I've got the oil filter here. Um, now, according to Google, the sump plug is actually a square sort of bolt. Now I checked my toolkit, which is in the back here funnily enough, um, and I do not have one of these, so I had to actually buy a kit so that I was able to get the sump plug out but oh well it's still going to be cheaper than doing it or getting somebody to do it right lad so i'm gonna go ahead um, open the bonnet. I don't think I'll need to get the car jacked up because uh, it is quite high at the minute because it's, it's not a low car or anything it's just a uh, standard suspension so we'll see how we go um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is the spark plugs because I think they'll be the easiest start to this job okay take this cover off so clip these off which look like you just push that clip down and then just come off like that perfect looks like a 10 mil bolt down there as well Can you take any deeper now? I gave you all I own put you on this golden throne but I'm a little stronger now you cast in on my promises You know I'm too Alright lads, this has definitely been the biggest ball leg I have ever seen. So I managed to get the drain plug out and it's just gone down the under tray and then into this box. Um, originally it actually overflow, well it came all over it and the box I had was too small, which is over there. 
so it was on the it was on this and everything and so I definitely need to power wash the floor later um, but the the sump bung was just so tight and oh this car is just giving me trouble already this is why you don't buy a Renault guys this is why you buy a freaking Audi <sighs> And on that topic, I will be doing an oil change on the Audi, but it's just not due yet because I did it only, I didn't do it too long ago. So I don't really want to waste the oil that's in it um, just yet. I'll just wait for about 5,000 miles on the Audi till I can change it. But this oil, anyway, is very, um, it's very black, so it's definitely due it. I just need to get this oil filter off still. Boys, I'm having such a ball ache trying to get this freaking oil filter off. I've been trying to get at it. It's just up there. Trying to get out of these um these pliers, but it's just so tight on there, like oh my god. I have to keep trying and treat keep trying to get at it, but Jesus man. It's been on, it's been put back on there so tight, it's ridiculous. Oh, lads, I just got it off. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like this. Right, boys, so just use a bit of the old oil from the old filter and just whack it on the seal on the new one. Just so it seal, seals correctly and you don't have any leaks in the future. Right lads, so I've just got the oil filter back in. Oh my god, it's been such a ball ache. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, do it over tight or anything. I'm just literally done it by hand as far as I could go. Like literally, I cannot do it any more tight than that. And then later, I'll just check if it's leaking or anything. Oh wow. Okay. So next thing is put the oil plug back in, and I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, I might get the hose and just hose the engine down because um, it's just full of oil and yeah it's not very pretty. I, I do have some brake cleaner but it's not very, there's not really a lot left. So we'll just see what we can do to clean up the engine bay. Okay so I've just gone ahead, just watered it down um, with the hose and cleaned it up a little bit. So yeah I'm going to go ahead and drop the car now, uh, take the jacks down out, jack out, drop it and I think it takes 4.4 .4 litres. Okay lads, so just filled up the oil again, it actually took the whole 5 litres bottle. Um, Chip dipstick is right at the top, um, so we are cushy, there's no leaks or anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the only thing I've got to do left is just put that under tray on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my miserable misery. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put that under tray back on and then call it a day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you want to see in the next video and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one Cause